Hello friends, this is my YouTube channel called PowerPoint University. You can find more than 200 plus video tutorials which are absolutely free and I have provided the download link for each video in the video description section. And if you need any assistance or help, you can contact me through WhatsApp on this number. And as usual, I need your support to make my content free. You can donate any amount as you like, which will help me to make more free content. Thank you for your support. Welcome to my YouTube channel PowerPoint University. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a five option infographic slide in PowerPoint. This is how the slide looks. You can see here uh, the options are carried by the clouds. The options are mentioned there and the titles has been defined and below you can see the shadow effect as well. Likewise, it will come one by one five different options with some different colors and the background also you can see I have created a, a cloud effect and it will just tilt by itself and then the one more slide I have created with a background of uh, the clouds and the landscape and the same animation I have used here And apart from that one, it will come from top five different options. And here without any animation, I've just placed the option one after the other. So let's see how to create this slide in PowerPoint. Add a new slide, go to insert shapes, select a rounded corner rectangle, draw the rounded corner rectangle of this size at the center of the slide make it no outline and if you want you can increase the size a little bit go to insert again shapes select a, a triangle draw the triangle small triangle and rotate it you can make it no outline and rotate to vertical, flip vertical and align it at the center of the rounded corner rectangle. I'm just making a copy of this one for the for future use. So select all these two options, merge shape and say union. And I'm going to change the background color of the slide. Use some a light gray color. And this one I'm going to make it white. Fill with white. And the other which we have copied, bring it down. Increase the size. And send this to back. Then select the white options again the shape press ctrl d to duplicate it and change the color to black and increase the transparency level to 60 or 50 percent and send this also to back and just place it just below that one so it will give you some kind of a 3d or a shadow effect and for this one, I'm just going to fill a gradient fill. I'm keeping only two stops and use some nice color combination. In this one, I'm just going to use kind of a, a light and a dark pink combination. And select all these objects right mouse click and group it and if you want to increase the size you can increase it further go to insert again shapes select a oval shape 
and place the hole here at the top of the white object this is kind of a, a hole I'm just going to create the effect like a hole reduce the size make it no outline and give the same background color of the slide and then go to shadow and give the inner shadow effect so this is how your slide looks and I have created I have copied uh, this particular cloud the PNG file from the internet you can download this one from the internet you can search for the PNG file and zoom in and insert shapes select under basic shapes select arc and draw the arc something like this and weight increase to two and half or two quarter and give a dark gray color and press ctrl d and rotate the other side So it's just I'm giving the effect like it's hanging from the rope or a thread you can say send that particular one option to the back and then you can insert some small lines there increase the weight and give the same color the dark gray make it two or three lines and then add one more straight line you can hold the shift key to get the straight line and same give the same weight and the color and I'm just going to add one more this R you can reduce the size tilt it and place it here So here this is how it looks like and increase the size of the line and send this to back. So our design is almost ready of one option and then I'm just going to insert and I'm going to add the text here. So the first I'm going to type option. put it in the center center aligned and give the same color and I'm going to use the font called Oswald press ctrl D to duplicate and just type 01 and increase the size and below you can add a detailed description you can replace your text here reduce the size and make it white 
so now i'm going to copy not copy i'm just going to select all and right mouse click and just say group so you have got one full set of option is ready and press ctrl d to duplicate and place it one after the other if you want three four five or six so it's up to you for so i'm going to make it four give the proper spacing between the options and then select one by one and start changing the color of the background always choose a very good color for your presentations if your presentation is good and the color combination is not good then your presentations look very weird so always try to choose the right color combination and you have to make sure that the text is uh, visible use complementary colors and then you can change the option to 2 3 4 and you can change the color as well to match with the background Now it's time to add the animations. Go to animations, select the first option and say fly in and effect you say fly in from right. Enable the animation pane, double click the animation and increase the smooth start and bounce end. Go to the timing and make it medium or rather it will be slow, it will be much better. So it will have it will show you something like this. So I'm just going to copy this animation using the animation painter and paste it to the other remaining three options. So let's see in the slideshow. When I click, the first option comes, then the second third and the fourth if you want you can add more options that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye